What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today I am going to show you on how to create a random enemy spawner It is going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV On how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics That will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need So you can check it out right now through the link in the description all right, so the first thing that we have to do is create a new blueprint actor class, which will be our random spawner. So let's go right click into our content browser, new blueprint class. It will be an actor as we're going to place it in the world. And this will be called something as BP underscore uh, enemy spawner or whatever you want to call it. So let's open this up. And as you can see, we can go into the event graph and we have here all our logic. So basically we're gonna delete everything except the begin play and in the begin play we're going to do is basically spawn an actor from class in this case what actor it will be well of course our enemy in this case i already have my own enemy so what you will need to do is just plug in your enemy and if you're wondering how to make an enemy ai in unreal engine we'll have a whole bunch of different tutorials for that so we'll try to link some of them and the description okay so then we need to specify a transform basically a position a location and a rotation where we want to spawn this new enemy in this case there are there are a lot of options okay but just right click split it so now we have the individual things as the location the rotation and the scale by separate and for the location we can do a get random reachable point in radius and this is the one that we want okay this will basically go ahead and just get a random location given on an origin location. So we can just say that the origin location, okay, it will be this actor, so get actor location, which is the spawner, and then we can search, okay, just pick a random location in this radius, which will be around maybe uh, 7,000, you know, to really make things random. And with that said, that should work. When I press play, a enemy should use be spawned in a random position so we can test this out we can just drop enemy spawner into our level and if i press play you will see that well nothing happened and why did nothing happen well there's a reason for that okay as you can see there's nothing here okay except well in our uh, <laughs> we have our enemy there but um you can see that it will always appear here and why is that well that's because this specific um, random, you know, ritual point in radius nodes requires one thing that also the AI itself needs, and that is the nav mesh. So what we need to do is go up into the quickly add to the price section, go to volumes, and you'll see this nav mesh bounce volume. We basically have to drag this and just fill this in with the area that we want our AI to be able to move on. In this case, make it super huge with lock. So, uh, you know, make it big in all axis. And we press P, you can see that the AI will be able to go through all of these places, okay? This is something that will be needed for our AI to work and also for our uh, random point selector to work. And now indeed, if I press play, you will see that our enemy goes ahead and is spawned in a random point. And I can do the same, press play, it is no longer there and it should be in another point over here let me see if I, there we go <laughs> right now it is there so you can see it is working and basically how big this nav mesh balance is uh, it can you know pick a random point inside of this area and then move now why did my enemy not move uh, well that's because as just my ai how it works i just have it at the beginning play to go where my player is but there's a thing that you need to make sure that your ai's enemies uh, have is in class defaults search for ai and then make sure that the AI controller class, uh, sorry, the out obsessed AI, it is set as place in world or spawned because if it is spawned, it will not have the AI. So you can see now, there we go, it, is, <laughs> it has come to me. Uh, and of course, it doesn't have animations because I made it quick. But you get the idea. If we go back to enemy spawner, we can simply just make this loop. We can just set timer by event and we can just create a new custom event and this will be a spawn enemy, right? And basically, every second in a loop, it will go ahead and spawn this enemy. So we just need to unplug this from here, 
and connect this to here so every second it will go ahead and call this custom event which will do the following so now if i press play you can see that slowly enemies <laughs> will start popping in random places in the map and basically will come to me so that's it for this tutorial if you found it helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so check them out remember the profiles are available in my patreon and youtube members so check that out uh check out also my new unreal course of game depth to be link in the description join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said well, how many? Uh, bye bye.